So I said, no, 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 it was supposed to be my pants. I killed, what did you do to me? I killed, I know, want to free for champions. I can't believe you're trolling. No, it was supposed to be my pants. I killed, what did you do to me? I killed, I know, want to free for champions. I can't believe you're trolling. Hello out there, how y'all doing? It's my beautiful wife. I'm doing a voiceover. So she's getting ready to put on some, uh, this is called Prep and Prime. It's by Mac. <clears throat> Putting it over her eyes, blending it in real nice um, as she does it with her hands. And then sometimes, you know, they'll do it with a brush and just smooth it all out. And make sure it takes in well. Um, you got to make sure that you put this on first because that way your makeup will stay on fresh and looking good. And now as she's getting ready to, um, you know, do the brushing part, she's going to also um, put on some, it's called Set and Forget. So that's just to help it to maintain the all day look. Um, and a fresh look like she did it first thing in the morning and it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon just looking good all day the other thing that she's doing is putting on the set and forget that's going to keep the makeup strong looking fresh all day and as she's getting ready um, she has to get the right brush and everything else to go with it you know she's just doing her thing mm -hmm. I'm here doing her voiceover if I sound a little nervous it's because it's my first time doing it um, as time goes on I will get better with it but I love supporting my wife and doing these little videos and having fun with it and just don't forget to hit that register button so you can see more of it yeah, she's got a nice background there if you look around. Yep. And here she goes. So now <clears throat> she's making sure that she puts on the right color to match the outfit that she's going to be wearing. Give it that little powwow look. This is by Color Up. And it's a kind of burgundish or maroonish. Um, it's, a, it's a color pop. That, that much I know. Um, it's called, I think, Super Shock or something. So it's going to give you that wow look. And it looks on, you know, puts on it from the corner to the end of the eye. Smooth it out. Make it look good. You know, blend it in. Because that's, that's the key to, I guess, makeup is, is blending the colors in to make them look good. Um, that's why I think little girls start young with no makeup because it takes a while to get it together and even though she may look perfect to me all the time she always wants to look extra perfect she also likes to blend in a little of the other color pop called uh, it's like a pinkish um, it's just something to make it look all together. Um, sometimes you have to mix them in to bring out the color that you want. You know? <clears throat> but putting on makeup is, is a job. And you need time. Trust me. Um, I've known my baby to get up early in the morning to start. Make sure she get it just right. You know? And as you see, she's very cautious about her eyes, making sure she gets them perfect. Yeah. To me, she has beautiful brown eyes. So. But you always got to feel good about yourself. And she keeps blending it in, <coughs> putting that color mix in it to get what she wants. Um, now she's trying a different color. 
that she's going to put in. And it's also another color pop. And she buys several different ones so, to make them blend together and look real nice. And this color pop um, is made, made you look. It has four different blends in it. Um, and that one she uses sometimes mix it together as well. You know, but she popping it on the lid. It's just a way to make it look, you know, even. She uses tape to get the edges right. I think that's a secret that is probably known to only women and probably makeup artists. Uh, but I guess that's to make it look that get that cut look almost like an aerodynamic and then she just blends it in she keeps going up and to the sides to make sure that it all comes together it's a really beautiful way of doing it I think the one thing about um, the way I see my wife do it is that she takes her time um, she either makes sure she gets up early or when she's doing these videos she may do them after work to make sure she has enough time to just try to teach other generations how to get the makeup going. And like I said, she uses very good makeup. She uses MAC. She uses and she uses different types of uh, makeup. That's the way she blends it in. If you look at how she's using the brush, that's just the way to put it in and make it look even on both ends because Lord knows if I was doing it, I can't figure out. But she knows how to do this. And she does it well. She just blends them in very nicely. And that's, she sees too much, she'll take the excess off and go back over it again. And she does a nice job there. Looking at all this. And I mean, she has lots of brushes and different types of things. And then she uses another brush to blend it in a different way. Trust me when I tell you, when the product is all done, it looks good. And like I said, she's very, very interested in uh, not only uh, making herself look good, but teaching others. That's one thing she enjoys doing. And as you see, she's still blending. Blending, I think, is the longest part. Making sure that it all goes down even. Yep, she just touches up everything. As you see, she tries to focus to make sure that she looks at the camera so you can see how it's coming together. It's a process, though. Yeah, she's getting it all in there. Very nice, very nice. You see how she goes back and forth, back and forth. You know, because it's something about the look and the color that she's trying to accomplish here. One thing I do notice <clears throat> is that she may do repetition, but it's only because she's making sure. And now she's going to blend another color in there from the same color pop to give it a different look. But it's also going to be a brush up, touch up. And as you see, the color changes as she adds different colors in there. And the one thing about it is that you can take all the different colors and blend them in. And then you'll come up with the color that you're really looking for. Like there are times when she'll have that get up and do the quick makeup. Or... She'll take her time if we're going out. And this is another small color pop. It's it's a black color. And as you see, this will be going on the outer part. Yep, there it is. She's very careful with it. She's using a smaller brush. 
just to give it a touch up. It's going right over the um, eyelids to give it a smoke out look. Like I said, different colors for different looks. And as you see, it's it's done slowly to try to get the right look. And carefully, make sure that you use the right brush. One of the keys to this is just taking your time with it, using small bits until you get the look you want. And filling it in correctly too. And see how she moves her eyes up and down, that's how she knows she's going to get the look that she wants. That's why she opens and closes her eyes. Yeah. This is kind of funny. Sometimes I'm just... Sometimes I'm just not sure how to follow, but I know she's blending them all in to get the look that she wants. Yeah, it's very interesting. Guys, aren't you glad we don't have to do all this? But we appreciate when they do it, don't we? I know I do. But to me, my baby's beautiful all the time. Now, she's still blending in. I guess that word blending goes good with eye makeup. Because there's a lot of touch-ups that she goes through. And listen, sometimes they can use up to five, six, seven different colors. It just depends on what look they want. And as you see from the beginning to now, it's changed again. Because it ain't done till they're happy. Now it might look like she's repetition, repetition, but it's the look that you want. And you have to keep looking at it. I'm not sure what that was, but we'll just bypass that one because I have no idea. And now. There's probably another blending look that she has. Oh, look, it's a different brush. And this is going over the eyelids. So this is to give it a more pizzazz look. Because it looks a little brighter and a little flair to it. And she's putting it on pretty carefully. I guess to make sure she don't get it in her eye. I tell you guys, gives you a different appreciation to women when they do this. Yep, now the tape's gonna come off because she's good with the line. I see how you got that cut look. Yeah. And she's like all like right underneath the eyebrow. Now she's going to touch up the eyebrow. She has a, it's a different type of brush to give it a different look. And this is called Ardell. And it has about four different colors in it. And she's going to start off with the darker one. Um, that's to line it out and make it look uh, dark how she wants. You got to make sure the eyebrows get done correctly. Um, she's taking time out to line them up. She's using a pencil right now to give it the, um, the eyebrow dark look. That's also by Ardell. It's a thin type pencil. Um, with a sharp edge to it 
she basically cuts it up to fit the right way. That's the Ardell pencil. And then she takes the brush, lines them up, make sure that they're going to be perfect. Yes, baby, yes. Giving it that touch up look. And of course, she uses the color for it. And now she's going to use it, looks like a liner which makes it straight and gives it that cut look and she just puts it on continues the line on as you see very carefully not going over and then she fills it in and filling it in is important because you don't want to have that two-tone look on your eyebrow and then the same on the other side. Just follow the line. Just follow the line of your eyebrow. Just got to take your time with it. You got to be patient. You don't want to make too many mistakes on your eyes. Trust me. It's the first thing you look at. And you want to get that point just right. As you see, she's very, very particular, making sure there's no gaps and everything is filled. And then just brush it up. I think they call this hair not out of place. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. Yep. I appreciate this guys you have to make sure they get them done right don't rush them now she's getting ready to use a face primer and the face primer basically oh she's taking a probiotic shake <laughs> she has to take a quick break this is what she does to stay fit Yeah, sometimes it's not easy. You gotta use your teeth. You know them them little tabs don't come off easy. Yep, a little sip and then right back to work. And now she puts this all over the face, the forehead, the cheeks, the chin, back to the forehead. You know, just kind of blend it all in. Now first she uses her hands and her fingers to make sure she gets it all in real good. Yep. See how carefully she goes under her eyes. And she's just making sure it's all even. Making sure it ain't too shiny or too dull. You're going to have to keep checking yourself to make sure that it's all even. If you notice, that's why it's important on the lighting. The light's very important. You can't have it too dark or too light. And now she's using Palito, I think it's called. And that's what she's going to use she's going to put that right like lined up right over the eyebrow I mean right over the eyelid and it's got to be a nice smooth line so if you notice the type of pencil she's using or the type of brush it's got an angle to it. It's going to go around your eye real good.
Yep, very carefully. Then you go back over, make sure you get a nice dark firm line. This is what makes your eyelids, I mean, the top of your eyes look um, like jet, like very particular. She's being careful. Now she's doing the other eye. And like I said, it's a good thing she uses the angle brush so that it gets the line just right, going right around the eye. So you have to be very, very careful. And then you look back, touch up to see if it missed anything. If you notice, she's just being very careful. It's not so much a repetition, it's just getting that line to be just right. And she'll go back and forth, back and forth till she gets it the way she wants it. Now. have to get ready for step number, I don't know, 20. It's a lot that goes into this, guys. Very, very much. <coughs> All right. Now, I believe this is called foundation. Um, it's a very particular way of putting it on. Sometimes you put it on freestyle. And sometimes you use a brush and sometimes you use a sponge. So let's see how she's going first do it. A little music, a little soundtrack in the back. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, she got a little bump that's bothering her. Now this is a conceal. You put this on first to cover up any dark spots. Make sure you want to cover them up. This is going to help to even out the foundation. Put it all over your face, all over your few dark spots. That's the one for dark spots. And then we have another one. This is for red spots. This helps to conceal any imperfections that they think they might have. She puts it right above her nose. You know, just to conceal stuff. And she just uses a sponge and starts going all over her face. 
blending everything in the concealer. It just hides everything. Any type of um, inf imperfections or something that um, a woman may feel that they need to just make sure it's not showing. But remember guys, all women are beautiful. And as you see, she puts it on very carefully and blends it in very carefully. There we go. Underneath the eyes, back over the top of the lips. Just blend it in all over. Now we should be getting ready that's the foundation that we saw earlier and that goes all over too we put it everywhere this is going to even out the look and that's why she uses a certain brush and she uses it, if you notice, in a circular type motion and then going up. Just whatever direction um, you use it in, keep using it in the same direction on both sides. This helps to even out the, uh, the tone of your face and the color of your face. Now you notice she didn't touch her eyes with this. That's very important. And now that's the little ball that she's using. That's going to tone it out. She might have just, oops, right by the eyelid. Now this little ball has different angles on it. Tips, kind of round, and then kind of fat at the bottom. So it just depends on which angle you want to use and how you want to blend it in. And you see how it's just looking very nice and even tone. My baby does a good job. Something surprised her. I'm not sure what it was. She may be looking at her phone or something. Or she might have spilled a little foundation on the shirt. Oops. And once again, this is a different type of uh, sponge. I believe there's several different sponges that they use to go over their face to make sure it all gets evened out. But as you notice, she's doing a good job because it's just all even tone right now. Yeah. Got to touch up the eyebrows every time to make sure that they don't get too light. And now, got to touch up if I made a mistake on the eyes. Oh, now I'm going underneath. You get that, that look on top that's on the bottom now. Very carefully underneath the eye. Very carefully. Yep. 
Just making sure. No mistakes. Now, let's see. This is another blending. Going under my eyes. Don't want to make any mistakes. So very, very careful. And again, this is a very particular brush used for under the eyes. Now I'm just blending everything together with a different brush. And just mixing in the top and the bottom to make sure it all looks the same. You don't want to go out there looking like you're two-tone. my head to some music. Now I'm getting ready to use it's called Exgenerate Smoke and Shine. That's gonna give me that little dark look underneath the eyes. It's gonna make it come out so Yep, singing some tunes. Probably listen to Lil Beyonce. Now, this is important. This is my concealer corrector. This is for any mistakes that I may have made. This will take care of it. I put it right under my eyes. You want to make sure that brightens up. Just want to make sure you look just right. And of course, I use the sponge. If you notice, I'm using the angle part. It's just bringing everything together to get a nice even tone, not just a light or a bright to tone or a dark tone, but an even tone. Make sure I touch up everything. Yeah, and I'm liking the look, so that's why I'm kind of like getting into the music. Now, this here is a powder called Sakaha or Saksha. It's called Buttercup Powder Setting. Now, this is going to help um, those lines under my eyes. Oh, wait, my bag. This is going to set the concealer. Yeah, I'm still learning some of this stuff. Kind of looks funny at the beginning, but once everything's brushed in together, it'll be fine. 
and make sure you touch up the line. You gotta do both eyes just right. I'm evening everything out. Getting myself ready. Because you have to leave this on for a few minutes. And then, oops, wait, one more thing I forgot. Contour stick. Now, this may be looking like I'm dressing like a clown, but I'm not. There's a reason why we do this. Yeah, I kind of like it too. Yeah, and then I touch up underneath it. Now I'm getting ready to do a blend. And here we go. Now you notice how everything's just starting to look maybe a little darker, bringing my natural look out. That's what all this contour and stuff is for. Just being careful around the nose, around the cheeks. Mm -hmm. Now, blend the rest of it in. It looks like you're wiping it off, but it's just all getting in together. See how I have a nice look on my cheekbones? This brings everything up very nicely. Yep. That's a little fan brush. Gives a nice angle on my cheekbones. Now, I'm using a different brush to make it highlight it better. Mm -hmm. It's looking good, looking good. Now this is by MAC and it's a posy color and it goes to on my cheeks to just highlight it more. It's in a powder form. Well, not maybe powder, it's more like a gel. Or 
by Gel Cream. Not sure what that was. Let me just make sure it goes on. Gives my cheeks a nice look. Now I'm looking at it, making sure it's all right. And brush it up again. Notice I brush up. It gives a better look that way. And if you notice, the further we go on, the less lines you see under my eye. Now I'm just doing a touch up right underneath my eyebrow. It's just another way I'm blending it all in. Giving it a slight highlight. Just trying to make sure it looks good. Pressing up the eyebrow again. Touch up the cheeks again. Now this is by Mary Kay. This is what I basically spray on my face. And then I fan it to make sure it dries correctly. Just a few minutes. Maybe I get a fan one day so it won't take so long. Now, this here, it's called Real. And it's basically used for a mascara like. It already comes with a brush in it. Kind of shake it a little bit and just touch up my eyelids. Eyelashes. Not eyelids, eyelashes. Sorry about that. Do the top and the bottom. 
This is going to make your eyelashes look longer and prettier. I don't know if y'all noticed, but y'all see that little green plant in the back? That's a braided plant. It's a nice looking plant. I like it. And again, do both eyes evenly. And it makes your eyelashes just look longer and pretty. I know y'all don't hear it, but I'm just listening to some tunes. <laughs> now I'm just being a little bit of myself. Mm -hmm. I just get a little crazy. Just being me. Now this here is a highlighter and it goes right under my eyes over my cheeks. It just feels so good, yo. Yes, it feels so good, so smooth. It's a very, very nice highlighter, and it's just, it, it goes on your skin like silky smooth. You've got to try it. Yes, just look how look how nice it looks on your face. And that's how good it just feels on your face. Yeah, just think of a facial bling bling. Yes. And now we blend it all in. And of course, I use multiple brushes. And don't forget the nose, because you want to make it all look even. It just all comes together very nicely. And you just keep blending it in with a brush. Now. This is another feature I'm going to use. It's by ColourPop and it's to line around my lips. Just trying to get the right one. Yep, you can't see it, but it's ColourPop. And it's just basically a liner.
I thought we start at the top and work our way around. Yeah. And just making sure it's all evenly done. Yeah. Um, I put on a little lip gloss first. Give myself a quick shine. Then I use the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. It's tool seventeen D four. Or Tully color. Yep, just putting on my final touches. Make sure my lines are straight. Don't want to be out there with no crooked lines. You want to make sure your lips end and meet at the same place. Do some final touch ups. Make sure all my blending in is correct. This here is my facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. It basically keeps everything nice and intact, keep it fresh. And folks, this is your final look. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Have a good one. See you later. Bye bye.